Thank you for tuning in to The Vision Guided Life. My name is Kay Taiwo, and I'm going to be discussing today a very important subject that affects every single person on this planet and is on the subject of money. Money is a very important topic that is discussed throughout Scripture. In fact, it would amaze you how many times Jesus used the illustration of money to convey a kingdom principle. But before I start, I wanted to highlight some recent events that have happened. When I say recent, at least within the last year, um, Creflo Dollar made a statement concerning tithing. And his statement concerning tithing was seismic and earth shattering, considering his position from before. Now, take a look at what Creflodala said in a previous time when he embraced his views on tithing and then followed by what he said when he had a change of heart. Watch. Now, you know, we're under the blood of Jesus, so we can't shoot and stone people like we used to. All we have to do is repent and God will forgive us and, and take us where we need to be. But I tell you, man, if it wasn't for the blood, there'd be a whole lot of us being stoned and being in hell right now, but over the time. You take time to tithe the tithe correctly, it's impossible to go to hell. I'm telling you, the only way you're going to get hooked up to prosperity, deliverance, or any promise in the Word of God is through the tithe. Teachings that I've shared in times past on the subject of tithing were not correct. Wow. <laughs> As you can see, that is a monumental shift on the part of Creflo Dollar. But not only Creflo Dollar, Benny Hinn also made some statements about his views now regarding money and how he actually repented made a change of complete 180 on the subject of money. I want you to take a look at this right here. And I'm sorry to say that prosperity has gone a little crazy. And I'm correcting my own uh, 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 theology, and you need to all know it. It's going to shock you. I think it's an offense to the Lord. It's an offense to say, give $1,000. I think it's offense to the Holy Spirit to place a price on the gospel. I'm done with it. I will never again ask you to give a thousand or whatever amounts because I think the Holy Ghost is just Here. fed up with it. Interesting. Very interesting. Money is neither good nor bad. Money simply takes on the character of the person who possesses it. The Bible says that the love of money is the root of all evil. Not money itself, it's the love of money that causes people to do irrational things and sinful, evil things, commit crimes. So it's not money itself. It's interesting that Jesus uses illustrations of money a lot. In fact, I'm going to read some stats to you on Jesus' teaching on money. This is from Preaching Today. Jesus talked much about money. 16 of the 38 parables were concerned with how to handle money and possessions. In the Gospels, an amazing 1 out of 10 verses, 288 in all, deal directly with the subject of money. The Bible offers 500 verses on prayer, less than 500 verses on faith, but more than 2,000 verses on money and possessions. Interesting. Very, very insightful. One of the things that uh, Creflo Dollar used to say in the past, or infer from what I, when I heard some of his teachings on Melchizedek and Abraham, he seemed to suggest that Abraham gave tithes of all and then was blessed by Melchizedek. But if you look at the scripture... Melchizedek blessed Abraham first, then Abraham gave tithes of his uh, bounty. In other words, Melchizedek did not wait for the tithe before he blessed Abraham. He blessed Abraham 
and then Abraham gave tithes. So it wasn't the tithe that invoked the blessing. The blessing came before the tithe. Interesting. Now let's go on further. If you look at the word tithe in the New Testament, in the Gospels is particularly, you see that uh, it appears about maybe four times. Jesus mentioned the word, actual word tithe or tithes, plural. The singular word tithe appears about 32 times. You do a quick search, 32 times in the Bible and two times in the New Testament. Then the plural word tithes appears 21 times in the, in the Bible and five times in the New Testament. So why did Jesus, or how did Jesus talk about tithe? Let's see Luke chapter 18, verse 12. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee, that I'm not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And then Matthew chapter 23, verse 23, this is Jesus rebuking Pharisees and scribes. He says, Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You give a tenth of your spices, mint, dill, and cumin, but you have neglected the more important matters of the law, justice, mercy, and faithfulness. You should have practiced the latter without neglecting the former. Now put in mind that when Jesus is talking here, Jesus is talking under the old covenant. He came to fulfill the old covenant and usher in a new covenant through his death, burial, and resurrection. But while he was speaking in real time, he addressed the fact that they did the, the, the lighter things and, and, and put more weight on the lighter things and didn't put much emphasis on the weightier matters of the law. But he said, those lighter things you ought to have done along with the major things, not neglecting. So in this case, he kind of puts uh, tithing in a lighter category and the other things like justice in the higher category, faithfulness, mercy, justice in the ma uh, weightier matters of the law. But he said you should have done that plus not neglecting to tithe. But you have to understand under the law, you paid tithes. It was required by the law. But as you read through scripture in the New Testament uh, epistles, you don't find an emphasis on tithing. You see the emphasis placed on giving and being an abundant giver. So are we mandated to tithe? Or put another way, are you cursed if you don't tithe? Remember to like, subscribe, and click on the bell so you will never miss any episode from our channel. God bless you.